This episode of Tools in Action is brought to you by Bosch Tools and their new EC Brushless lineup. Click the link in the description below for a chance to enter a 2014 Ram truck or a bunch of Bosch brushless tools and accessories. Friday today we don't mean to disappoint maybe we didn't disappoint is the sun in your eyes why what? are your glasses on oh I don't know I don't know where my glasses are wow that's weird I don't even know I'll, I would probably drive home are like those this prescription in the dark. yeah oh okay well, that I would drive home then. like this in the dark um no tool talk today no tool fights don't freak out we had some good ones last week but mm -hmm. we're, they're coming back you guys we're just working on better content we've been really busy lately we got something going on with Bosch right now that you guys are gonna see pretty soon I'm hoping within a couple weeks I'll have that video a couple finished. weeks it's just gotta be about a week why? Because I'd like to get that done. <laughs> well, I'm working on it. Yeah. 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 He get, doesn't even know what it's about. He's not even <laughs> around during the day, this guy. Um, but today we're going to talk a little bit about the saw, and at the end we're going to show a, a tour of Eric's toolbox. Mm -hmm. Or tool box <coughs> in the truck. Yeah, toolbox. Right. So what do we got here, Eric? Tonight we're going over the M18. This is a fuel. It's the Actually, it's the 2729-22 uh, deep cut band saws. The 22 is because it comes with two batteries. If it's a 21, it comes with one battery, and a 20 is a bare kit. So, tell us a little bit about it, Dan. Well, Eric, what would you like to know about this big saw? It's a deep, deep cut. cut. Why deep would cut. Deep cut. Deep cut is for deeper cuts. You're going to be able to get bigger pipe, bigger things. You might even get like some small I beam in there if you really had to. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to allow you to get round things. Now, a lot of people are like, why not just use a reciprocating saw? Why use a bandsaw? A bandsaw is more of less aggressive cut. Mm -hmm. You know, it's basically going to do a nice slow. I mean, you. With this thing, you could slow it down. I don't know the RPMs off the top of my head. We'll have that in the article. I think it's zero to 360. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, so. wow, Eric, impressive. I don't know how else. Look Let's at the see, box. now that we're talking about it. But, you know, it. you could slow down no, your cut. No, zero to 380, oh well. Wow, wow. you suck. This I know, guy, this. he shouldn't even be here. All right, I'm leaving. Um, but, you know, <coughs> it's going to give you the ability to slow it down, make a nice, good cut, and you can see your work. And it's not going to beat the heck out of your arms like a sawzall would if you're going to be using it. Right, and there. you don't have the issue of when you're doing a reciprocate. So as you saw in the fight, the work started going with the yeah. vibration. You don't have that with this. This is one constant cut. Uh, also, well, that's not with this, but we did the swag, you guys. I love that thing, the swag yeah. uh, uh, table. bandsaw table. I love it. You, I don't think you can use it with cordless, but you use it with the corded. I actually want to get a Milwaukee for it because uh, he said the Milwaukee was the best for it, so I want to try that out. But that's one of my favorite tools ever. I love bandsaws. I just can't stand the big bandsaws because I just don't have the room. No, I mean, because if you're, unless you're using it every day. Right. Now, you guys, if you're looking, if you're cutting, like, half-inch EMT all day, this is not the saw for you. No, I'll go with the M12. Right, exactly. You know? The M12, or who else has a oh, baby one? Bosch the, does. Makita does, too, I think. Makita, Makita does. Makita just came out with one. Just do, not a wall Bosch thing. has a mini? I thought they no, did. That's no, that's a 20. That's 20? a 20 volt. Or yeah. Or 18? That's, yeah. Okay. So this is a pretty big one, you guys. The, the fuel is going to give you that extended runtime out on the job site. Uh, we have an adjustable kind of shoe here, which is going to adjust for your work, which we're probably showing you the overlay. Here, just push it in. Thanks, Eric. Sure, anytime. Thanks, thanks for schooling me. <laughs> suicide hook on the side. Go ahead, say it. Why do you always Why call, do you call it? it a suicide hook? I call it a suicide hook because it's a big piece of metal sticking out. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather have that than a cheap piece of, of plastic course. hanging out? I'm not. Just because I call it a suicide hook, does that mean a negative to it? <laughs> well, suicide is usually associated with negative. But, <laughs> not in this know. case. You know, suicide <coughs> doors? That's a cool car with suicide doors. That's called the suicide hook. If those it's were open, good doors. I actually like those doors. Yeah, they're cool. If it's open, watch out because you could catch on it and it's going to hurt you. But it's going to hang on a rafter like no other. And it's a heavy tool. How heavy is it, Eric? I don't know. Look on you the back of the box. You told me you going over the stats. Now, uh, I got to go over the stats. It does Here, I'll read. It's 15 pounds. It is really quick. Capacity is five, 5 by 5 and Dan's going to go with variable speed. Wow, that's pretty big. Speed. Yeah, variable speed trigger. Um, yeah, we'll go over that. It does have the biggest case out there. I have not seen a bigger Milwaukee case. I mean, that case almost looks way too big for this saw. Well, here's what's in it. Ooh, we're excited. I'm very excited. A charger and two batteries? Exactly. Wow. One no, but battery? go ahead the tool. Go ahead and put the tool on there. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh, wow, you that's know? actually pretty nice. Yeah. It fits in there really nice. That's what I like about the Milwaukee. You know, because some cases you get, you know, they just have, oh, like, dividers. I hate, I hate that. If you're spending five minutes to le see how to put your tool in there, that sucks. Um, so like I said, a bit heavy. It's a, it's ergonomic. Got a nice. It's heavy if you don't if you don't have any uh, strength. Muscles. Yeah. yeah, muscles. Yeah. Um, LED light on the front here. I feel like I wanted to see the LED light on this side. I feel like it would lit lit up a little better. Um, I just don't feel like it lights up that good, Eric. No, it's kind of light in here. Well, I know, but I just feel like if the LED was back here, it would have more light on the actual cut area. But granted, it is five sure. by five, so your whole cut area could be four inches long you know we were cutting shorter stuff which obviously is not designed for this so but you can do it but it's heavy lever lock here is going to allow you to uh easily replace the blade and let me tell you from experience that's awesome yeah because I re remember we had to go yep. to home depot yep we had to go home depot because we broke some blades uh you know just by forcing it you never want to force a bandsaw let the tool do the work mm -hmm. that's especially the case on this thing right here did we talk about the rpm yeah do you remember what it was 380. Yeah, that's good. Did you say that in this video? Because this is the second yeah. time we did it. This is the fifth time. It is. What kind of warranty we got on here? Five on the tool, three on the battery. Four amp hour batteries. Uh, comes with obviously the charger and two batteries. What's that? What? What's that? A brush. Right. Well, tell them about the brush. Oh, it's got a brush in there. Basically, cleans off your wheel so you don't get debris on there, and you know. So it's got good traction. You're yeah. not going to get all the metal shavings or whatnot up in there. Uh, the one thing I don't like, and I know it's there for a purpose, is there's no guard between the blade back here. Uh, you know, I know that's a good thing because the debris just falls right out. Yeah. But I still like guards, and I know on the M12 it Why? has a guard because I just feel like I don't know. It just seems like dangerous to me. No, but careful. I mean, you know, I mean, this it's, it's not a knock against Milwaukee or anything like that. It's no, just there's you a know, lot there. yeah, the Walt one we just did had yeah, it. Yeah, it's got an open one. Yeah, I just feel like you guys should come out with something designed to cover that. But then again, you know, but then why you're gonna get more stuff in there than that stuff's gonna, you know, stuff. Well, debris. You're gonna get the metal shavings in there. Body parts. Blood. Body parts. Yep. That's what Eric uses it for. That's what I will be using it for if you keep talking like that. Okay. <laughs> Man, wouldn't that suck though? There's like, there's been times I've been reading like, uh, like one guy his car dropped on his foot and he had to hack his own foot off. He's in Alaska. Man, that could you do suck. that? Well, I mean, it's either that or die. I hope, God, I hope I never. Yeah, been in that I position. couldn't do it unless they had the M12 or M18 bands <laughs> <laughs> with Man. deep cut. Yeah. <laughs> No. The problem is, is you got to get to your trunk, and if you can get the guy did it, man, the wow. guy did it, and they said that saved his life because he would have just died well, there yeah. and froze to death. I mean, that's horrible. Man, imagine that's your alternative. Whew, that would suck. Well, if it was my alternative, I would want to have this bandsaw with me. Just make it quick and clean. Yeah, at least it's clean. Yeah, you just know, get it done. Get it done. And then <laughs> No, check it out, you guys. Five year warranty yeah. from Milwaukee. Uh, sorry we didn't have a tool fight this time, but like I said, we're working on some good stuff. Next week we will. This is exciting stuff. This very, yeah. You know, deep cut bandsaw, 27, 29. Let's go ahead and uh, finish it up. Well, let's check out the toolbox. Yeah, and dude, don't forget, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, or a month. What is it? Yeah, bag. a month. Actually, you're talking, I don't know, what, 35 days? Wow, yeah. 35 like that. days and the ultimate tool bag. Is going to be given away. Yep. And if you don't win, do not worry because there's another one right around the corner. Exactly. So, cool. All right. Gross, man. What happened? You are gross. What Eric. happened? Let's go check out Eric's toolbox. Let's toolbox. go do it. All right. A couple weeks ago, Dan went over his toolbox and all that. So, this time he actually wanted to go over in the back of my truck. Obviously, I got my WeatherGuard truck box, which we did a review on. I love this thing. It's great. In all honesty, I have not been in here that much this winter. Didn't have many jobs for it, so I'm going to open it up and kind of see what's in there and kind of just show you guys, just give you a quick little tour. As you can see, you got my level on the back. Levels, all right, I usually actually use a different level. It's still not a bad level. This is all stuff I've got right there that's easy to access, so when I'm on the ground, I don't have to hop up in the back of the truck. Like your most used items, right? No, I wouldn't say my most used items, but you know, like the hammer, or just if I gotta do something quick or whatever, something like that. I got drill bits and stuff, you know, stuff I'm gonna quickly access, tape measure, whatever. My tackle box doesn't really have much in there, a couple blades and bits, some stuff for my ears. It's cool on the side, I got um, just keep my gloves, keep tie downs. Below the tray, this tray doesn't move, I actually got it locked into place, but below, got my extension cord. I got some uh, clamps, tarp, and some rope. 
Dan wants me to carry a rope around for some reason. I don't know why. So he I can get he, a date. He says, he, oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> the chloroform's in the back, too. I got that. Yeah. Um, so, and then what I use is I've actually got the Walt um, tea stacks that I use. So, <laughs> I got the Walt tea stacks that I use. <laughs> Eric doesn't uh, like the new camera in his face style. Yeah. It's just for organization. It just makes it easier for me to just grab stuff and go. Like, this is my kind of main box that I go. It's got the drills, the impacts, which I'll show you. And it's got bits, a bunch of bits and stuff like that in there. Um, but I'm actually going to start over on this side over here. This is just a, my bit kit. Try not to get my camera. But I've got just gloves. I got just different, you know, for concrete right here, spade bits. Um, just different things like that. I got FDS, chisels. FDS. Yeah, got chisels. I just got this thing. I and you guys thing. always carry those gloves. They're the bomb, aren't they? I, you can see I haven't even used them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you got them. But no, you know what? They are. In all honesty, they're nice. To, they're nice to have. You know, if you're gonna get something greasy really quick or something like that. So that's the bit kit. Um, keep my radio for when I want to jam out the tunes. Is a little Bosch uh, radio. I like it. You know what? For the sound for a job, that thing's perfect batteries still work here I got a saw and a should be a flashlight in there my absolute favorite saw why is it your favorite saw it just rocks man it goes for everything it doesn't bog down kind of like the uh, the hex always just did yeah Milwaukee hit those saws we give it to Milwaukee for saws oh they got a little 20 volt I got my flashlight only reason I got this flashlight is because Dan was nice enough to give it to me. So, and I actually. Say Dan's just, nice. Dan is nice, man. Very nice. So, that's that. You notice something? We're kind of by Eric's house, and what are we here? I know, I was thinking that. <laughs> it's hysterical. Sirens. <laughs> it's hysterical. I hope I locked my truck. Yeah. Actually, that's an ambulance. Yeah, according to Eric, it's ambulances. How do you know? Uh, does that work for the fire department? What? Any different know? sirens? Yeah, you can tell us something. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't have to open that. You can see through that. Uh, my bit or bits, fasteners. Just keep some different fasteners in there, um, just for just in case fasteners. I have got my big Dewalt drill here. I don't break this thing out much because I'm gonna show you the next ones that I use mostly. But it's nice to have this. DCD nine eight five. Very good. That's what I was gonna say, but you beat me to it. That's a good drill, man. That's the that's the best three speed non brushless drill you can get. Oh, it's a great drill. <clears throat> and then I got, I don't know if you can see, try to stay out of the way, but um, I've got just different bits in here because I can just grab this whole thing and go. That's what's nice is these and containers lock together. Yeah, exactly. Split it up. So I did cut some of it out. Are you liking your tea stack? No issues? Um, you know what? This one you can see, it's kind of coming apart. I always got to push that in. I don't know oh, weird. why, why that's that always. Out? I don't know. I have no idea. It's not like, like you're busted, traveling. Huh? Like you push it in now, and then when you next time access it, it'll be sticking out. Yeah. So it's vibrating itself out. Is what's happening? That, and I think from opening the lid, I notice like if I'm somewhere and I'm open, constantly opening the lid or something, it like works its way out too. Hmm. I think they're so. lifetime warranty. Are they? Mm -hmm. Um. So I got just my drills in here, <coughs> which I love these things. I don't know if you can see it. Eight eight six. 790, right? Yep. 790. Brushless. Wow, Eric. I know. And again, thanks to Dan, I got those. Yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't have those. And then in the bottom, I really don't have too much in here right now. I've actually kind of taken a lot of the stuff out that I actually use, so it's just kind of more just other stuff. If you were a fisherman, these would make good tackle boxes, I think. Mm. No. Well, yeah, they might. I mean, if you're going to keep lying or something like that in there, you know? So, cool. Got some straps, that's easy it. They got what else? Actually, you know what? That's it because those are just hand tools, which kind of. What's your favorite hand tool in there? Show everybody. My favorite hand tool. I did have a nice knife in there, but I think I took that out. So, actually, this is probably my favorite hand tool right there. Really? The Klein bottle opener. People love that. It's one of their best sellers. All right, you guys. So that's it. That's Enrique's uh, tool chest. Sorry we didn't have a tool fight or anything like that this week. We're really crunched on, on things we're doing right now. We got a lot going on. We're going to have one. 
Yeah. Um, we just kind of wanted to show you because a lot of people have asked, you know, emails about, hey, how's that box been holding up? Kind of showing you the stuff that's back there. And then I know Dan did his box. What, what did, you, what did, you, did, what did your, we do? Jeez, I can't even talk. We did your box or something like yeah, that? Yeah, what did we do? I totally forgot. We did something, but then people were asking about this. We got emails about this. Yeah, what did I show you guys? I can't even remember. Isn't that sad? That's how bad we are. But That's we're trying really to keep bad. quality content up. That's why, you know, there's no tool fight or tool fight or um, tool talk this week. We're working on better, bigger, and better episodes. So, all right, you guys, have a great weekend, and we will see you next week. And I got the chloroform and the rope right here, Dan. So. All right, thank you, Eric. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go party. <laughs>